am not kidding when I say that something new comes up every day. My heart just drops immediately. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Jordan and I am currently preparing to go back to work on a cruise ship. I am a professional figure skater and I work on the cruise ship so I am in the process of returning to work in a few weeks and I'm so excited. So today I just want to run a few errands and get a few more things checked off of my list. I am the most type A person you will probably ever meet so I made three different lists of things to keep me on track. I do have enough time to get everything done, but I just like to stay very organized and to be as proactive as possible. Today, I want to go to Best Buy and try and get another external hard drive for my laptop so that I have more space when I'm making videos on board. Um, I wanna try and find like a protective case for that. Um, what else do I wanna get? I think I want to try and find another camera battery so that I have three because it's such a hassle to always have to stop in the middle of vlogging and charge my camera battery. Um, what else am I going to do today? So I wrote out these lists the other day. So I've got a packing list, need to buy, and things to do. And they're color coordinated because I'm crazy. Um, I'm still probably adding to this list, but this is everything I've got so far. Then I've got things I need to buy. And then things to do so I have everything organized right here and I'm gonna check it off the list once it's done like the dummy I am I forgot to take a picture of my things to buy list but it's fine uh, I just got to the mall parked by Best Buy we're gonna go on in and uh, see what we can find oh I have to get a mask too see when you wear lipstick under your mask that's when you know that it was always for yourself you know? I'm looking for camera battery, but I can't find the correct size. And they're out of a few. Well, they don't have the battery I need in stock. Like, everything is wiped out but I can just order on Amazon, it's fine. I'm back from my excursion. I did also stop at Walmart on my way home because I was like, I might as well get my toiletries now, so not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I'm done shopping for all my toiletries, all my makeup. We should be good to go because I spent a lot of money. I really hope I'm good to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little haul of everything I got today when I was out. So first at Best Buy, I just got a new Oh, external hard drive for my laptop because my one currently is filling up and I also want to have like a backup uh, to my backup so I got a two terabyte one <laughs> then your girl treated herself to some Lulu I actually needed to get the dance studio joggers for drill or so I'm telling myself I didn't really need them but so they had like every color under the sun available except for navy in the store. But I did find a different pair of joggers that I really liked instead. So I got a pair of navy joggers. They just look like this. They're so comfortable. Um, and these are the stretch high rise joggers. So I got these instead of the dance studio because I mean these do the job and no it's nice to switch it up. So now I don't need to order the dance studio joggers online because I've got a pair right here. And I felt like these were a little dressier too. But yeah, I fell in love with these. And then I did get one sale item. I got a little like sports bra crop top thingy. This is just what it looks like. It's like a coral color and then it crisscrosses in the back. This is called the forward fold bra. And it was on clearance for $39, which is 
really good for Lulu. And I did also use my Sweat Collective on that, so I got like 25% off. So definitely worth it. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff from Walmart. Let's look in the bag of, bag of tricks. Actually, maybe I'll put it here. First, unrelated to my adventure, um, I got a sparkling ice with caffeine because I love ices. I said that in my last video, but they have a caffeine one out now and you know me. I actually was looking for Celsius and they didn't have any in the store. Um, and then I saw this bad boy and I was like, I guess this is a sign to try it. So cheers. Mm. Tastes like a normal ice, but it has caffeine. So we love that. But first things first, I got a new body wash. This is the Dove Restoring Coconut Butter and Cocoa Butter Body Wash. I think right now I'm using like the nourishing one. Then I got Dove Dry Shampoo. This is the Brunette Dry Shampoo because uh, my roots are very dark. I got the L'Oreal Paris Ever Strong thickening conditioner. I had like a spare shampoo in my bathroom closet. Don't know where that came from, but I didn't have conditioner, so I bought that. And then I believe everything else is just e.l.f. products. I am aware I bought concealer last time, but I was like, it doesn't hurt to have another one. So I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in light beige. I'm actually obsessed with the eyebrow pencil I got from e.l.f., so I got two more of these because I don't know how fast I'll go through them, but they're literally $2. And I got this in, oops, I got them in taupe. I got my favorite loose powder. This is the e.l.f. HD Sheer Powder. And then I got a big old e.l.f. setting spray. I think it's matte. I hope it's matte. And then the last thing is kind of fun. I didn't really need it, but I want to try it out. It's the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. And I got it in the color Flirty Birdie. It's like a rose gold. I don't know. This looks like this would be a lot of fun for a show look or just to play around when I want to do like a full glam. That's everything I got. I give this like a 9 out of 10. It slaps. This is what we got so far for makeup. Actually, I hope that this is everything because I've spent a lot of money stocking up. But the good news is I'm going to be set for a while. Like, look how many pairs of eyelashes I have. I will not need to buy any throughout the contract, thank God. These are also eyelashes. Yeah, obviously this isn't everything. I still have my whole, like, makeup case in my bathroom and then my palettes and whatnot. But got some makeup. We've got some toiletries, razors, um, some room decor stuff. Hi, Coco. Hi, hey, baby. Look at how cute you are. Oh, she just got groomed. Here we are, another day. It is April 7th, it's like 10 p.m. Honestly, was not planning on filming anything today, but I did receive my medical clearance finally. I mean, I say finally, but it was literally less than a week I was waiting for this. But it's just one of those things to like check off the list that I don't have to stress about anymore. I literally said it before, I was nervous for no reason, but just to have it all done and have the paperwork just gives me peace of mind. So I'm gonna go downstairs, make some copies because I have to bring a whole bunch of paperwork with me when I sign on. And then I also wanna have like a spare copy at home as well if my parents need it for any reason. made all the copies and I separated them into two different piles so here's like my folder I'm gonna bring with me in my carry-on when I sign on it says royal obviously but yeah there's a lot of paperwork that I need to bring because when you sign on you have to show proof of your medical even though they do have it on file it's always good to have like a paper copy with you there's just certain things that they require you to have when you sign on board and obviously with covid things are definitely even more strict if you will and also this is like the comeback you know what i mean like there hasn't really been sailings for the past year so i'm just blabbering but long story short I have all my paperwork printed, copied, and ready to go. 
Today is Saturday, April 10th, and as every day brings, today has brought some new information. So, I received an email from Royal that my flight has changed and my LOE, which is letter of employment, that's basically like your ticket onto the ship. So the email I got, the subject title was important, your assignment has been updated. So I'm like, my heart just drops immediately, as one would. Um, and basically the email just was saying that there's a new local restriction on the number of crew that can sign on per day. So, I mean, depending on how many people were signing on the day I was supposed to, they needed to rearrange a little bit, but the good news is, is that my flight was only pushed back two days, so it's the same exact flight, but just two days later. So then I looked at my LOE, and my LOE tells me what ship I'm on, the start date, and the end date. So the end date has been switched. It's now like two or three months sooner, um, so the contract isn't quite as long as I expected. Who knows if it's going to change again? I mean, I just figured that I would let you guys know what's going on. As of right now, I'm not too, too stressed, but like, I just really want this to work out. So I'm like, please get me on the damn ship. I did also talk to my cast and everyone else's information changed a little bit, like their flights and sign-on dates. So at least it's not just mine. Um, that gives me a little more peace of mind so I can relax a little bit, but I'm like, <sighs> relax and because of it I'm stressing and because I'm stressing I'm getting pimples all over my face but it's fine everything is fine um well 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 here we find ourselves once again I am not kidding when I say that something new comes up every day I got an email while I was on the ice that our LOEs changed and our flights changed once again. So basically it hasn't changed too much, but my flights have now gone back to the original date, which is a Sunday. And I did really luck out with my flights because my flight is at like 6 a.m. But I only have one layover and it's only like an hour layover. So it really shouldn't be too bad. And I don't think I'm going to sleep the night before because I'm gonna be so excited. And then also our sign off date is now back to February. Like I said, I have no clue if it will change again in the next couple weeks, who knows, but either way I'm gonna be ready to leave on that date. The only hard thing is like I need to schedule my appointment for my PCR exam, or my PCR test, sorry. If the date keeps changing, I need to have it within 72 hours of my flight, so that's really the only thing that it affects. I really appreciate being updated like every single day. That definitely helps. So I'm in the loop of what's going on, but I think as everybody is, we're all kind of figuring it out together. So that's all she wrote, folks. Mm -hmm.